Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Twit Specials is provided by Cashfly. At C A C H E F L Y dot com. Three, two, one. This is Twit Special number 181, recorded New Year's Eve, brewing coffee with Steve. It's about to blow! (laughs) (laughs) Happy New Year, everybody! We're going to do a little coffee making. It's clearly time. It's only 6 a.m. in Petaluma, by the way. I would normally be snoring loudly right now. The point of my approach to coffee, which is different than, than others. Of course, because why would you do it like everybody else? Well, well, you do it scientifically. Well, okay, so the goal is not to make a single cup. Yeah. Because that's just, if you're going to drink 10 during the day. Well, in fact, we talked because I said, don't you like the AeroPress? This is what we all agree is the... The perfect way to extract coffee, but there is a problem. Well, yeah, it's that it makes one cup, cup at a time. <laughs> and now, but you can't also you also can't make, for example, twenty at a time because you can't drink it that fast. And it does, coffee does oxidize, and so uh, this is an important point that I did not know until Steve explained. But when coffee is exposed to the air, the brewed coffee is exposed to the air, it immediately starts turning. Right, and you 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 see that vividly in espresso. Because it, when, for example, if, if you pull an espresso shot, it comes out sort of chocolate brown, and just like sitting there looking at it over the course of 30 seconds, it immediately starts turning black. So, for example, when I've got my... That's because it's oxidizing. It's actually exactly, combining with oxygen. It, it's that fast. And yeah. so when I do my six-shot latte here, what I, what I make um, Starbucks do is I make them steam the milk first and then put the shots directly into the milk the milk because that protects them seals it off from the oxygen exactly then yeah. and then you end up with like a really nice tasting latte but you know no they, they never want to do it that way now I'm gonna make a loud noise here because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get what remains of yes, the yes 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 prior yes. beans this is Godfather's roar this is a a, uh, a, a local uh, coffee roaster the Petaluma Coffee Company, and they do an espresso bean, the Godfather's Roar, that is over roasted. It's extra dark. Are we getting? Are we getting it all? Oh, I don't see any beans still in there. Let me just put my hand. In. <laughs> ah! no, tell you what. I'll tell you what. We could probably unscrew this, and uh, I think this unscrews. Yeah, it does. Because I have exactly, I mean, this is the grinder I use that's, at home. That's why we're, that's, we're doing it. That's my grinder. This is a good a KitchenAid Burr grinder. It's not actually uh, what I use. Coffee, Mr. Coffee Geek uh, told me to get a Barazza, which I did, and it's much, much more expensive. Well, and see, the reason I use this is that I never use the reservoir. Um, I'll take the beans out of a vacuum storage and put exactly the number of beans I want to brew See how they're all stuck around yeah. there? I mean, they're wonderfully greasy, which is... Oh, much, look which, at that. Look at that oil. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that oil. A ton of oil. <laughs> that's the Godfather's Roar right there. That's an oily, oily... Well, that's brilliant. brilliant. Well, let's see if it, it may be brilliant or may not. I think maybe we need a, a, a minion to... Uh... A minion! Burke? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Buck! No, I think it's coming out. I mean, we don't. I mean, now we can't okay, have so any, when we I, ha- can't have any. Alien you know, not beans even one there. alien no, bean. No, no, no. Because when I was uh, when I was at wine tasting, I I started to rinse the glass, and the guy looked up in horror. He said, "Absolutely not! You'll change the pH of the glass. You must not do that. Just pour the new wine in. Oh, would you unplug that? I don't want to stick yeah, yeah, my yeah, finger yeah. in yeah. the burr. Yeah, that the, would not. That would, that would shorten the day. It would not. Well, we don't. <laughs> we're trying to avoid bleeding here. Yes. Now you spoke, Steve, about the fact that this is far from optimal. Well, no, it's it's optimal for my goal. Okay. Which is I, so I, even though we don't have the proper stuff. Well, and for example, I don't need Sherpas coming down from Ethiopia. Wait a minute. In, this is the bean you're going to give me as a Starbucks espresso? Yes, and that's my point. <laughs> is that this is part of what makes this practical? What I think, if we can pull this off correctly, I mean, if I can recreate the formula I have at home, it'll be the best tasting cup of coffee you've had. We and, need mugs. Well, um, so this is now. Um, 
Uh, uh, plug that in because so, it's not plugged in yet. In okay, fact, so so part of the problem is we need the right amount of water. I brought. What we have a gradu Can we have some graduated cylinders, <laughs> Karsten? Karsten, bring the graduates. I okay. brought the exact. Oh, well, you have a cup measure. I brought the. Well, no, no. This is exactly the same size I use at home. That's the, that's the ground. So I was going to. Okay. My goal has been to reproduce what I do every morning here, right. so so that you can taste exactly the same thing that I taste. So, Dan, as you know, as a listener to Security Now, and everybody at home knows, uh, Steve is a bit of a caffeine fanatic. He invented, patented the Quinty <laughs> Venti Latte. No, no, six. Well, that, I'm, that, I'm, oh, I'm, oh, I'm oh. giving the history. Okay. But that turned out not to be sufficient because now, apparently he's developing a tolerance. He is now the, the inventor of the Sexty Venti Latte, which is six shots in a venti. Dan, has anybody ever asked you when you were working at Starbucks? Did anybody ever ask you for a six-shot venti latte? Maybe just Steve. That's uh, <laughs> okay, a so lot of guts. There. That's crazy talk. Now I got to point out though, am I wrong? And you tell me, Dan. Brewed coffee has more caffeine than an espresso, a Starbucks espresso. Espresso, I, I think, yes, correct. actually, right. the the darker you roast the bean, the lower the caffeine content. And the espresso brewing method also does not extract the maximum amount of caffeine from a bean. Um, I think well, a drip a drip will do the, a better the, job. The, the super fine grind yeah. allows the water to reach the um, uh, more of the oils right. in the bean. Now, see, what I do is I take the, the, the dark roasted espresso bean, but I grind it for drip. It's my impression. So it's that's, a drip grind. And, and I don't want to besmirch your, your former employer, Dan, but that Starbucks overgrinds, <laughs> it's, overgrinds its coffee in order to get more well, people, bang for the buck. Pe pe people also talk about how awful Starbucks coffee is. That, that I like it, but I but some con many connoisseurs say it's just not good. Right. And so I, I don't know. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, well, People I'm going to use my... People the same thing about ABC News. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible coffee. Oh, my God. We're ready now. We're ready. I've got my Union Jack coffee mug to celebrate here. Now, is this Pyrex? I don't want to... By the way, we are Are we coming up on a time zone because I see... We've got half an hour. We don't have anybody. Right. Well, no. See, Steve? This is another lesson in geography that I've learned, <laughs> is that there's time zones all over the damn place. You can't say at the top of the hour. There's probably one... In two minutes. Okay. Ulan Bator, ladies and gentlemen. But we've got no one in Mongolia. So we're just going to skip right over it as if it never happened. Um, so, all right. So, so this has gotten kind of cold. We we've got that heat. Yeah, heat yeah. Now, now, by the way, this is a Breville uh, uh, electric kettle that does allow us to set the temperature. So you, you've decided, you've elected, in a, in a kind of a shocking uh, display here, to go with 212 degrees, the actual full <laughs> boiling. I have been told many times that, in fact, it is not the ideal temperature for brewing coffee that you don't want to go that hot. But you, you say boil the water. Well, I should have sent up one of my proper uh, drip brewers. I thought you had it. That's what, so, so that was the problem because I, so, I knew you had the grinder. The Zoji Rushi. The Zoji Rushi. I do Rushi. not have the Zoji Rushi. Because that's five cups. And so that's the perfect compromise because it's not one cup, which is too few, and it's not ten cups, which is too many. Because the problem is, if you make ten cups and you just drink at a, even at a high rate of consumption, yeah. the coffee will oxidize. Here's a little trivia from Web fifty two fifty eight. Starbucks used to have a five shot venti coffee drink called the Mocha Valencia. <laughs> All right, in ten, in fifteen seconds, it will be uh, twenty fourteen in the Northern Territory, but like the rest of Australia, of Australia. we're going to ignore that. Uh, but <laughs> Dallas, uh, Darwin and Alice Springs, or as I call it, Dallas Springs, uh, will celebrate in four, three, two, one. Happy New Year, Darwin! That's enough. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> no, no, really, we, that's enough. Uh, okay, so we are missing, but we have graduated cylinders. You don't have that at home. Yeah, um, okay, so... Oh, no, what happened? The balloons popped? Oh, my God, the humanity. Oh, right. There they are. There they are. The balloon drop is going back up. <laughs> Getting reset. Happy New Year, Northern Territory. <laughs> Raise the ball. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so, so, okay, so the other problem is using the right amount of water through the perfectly ground and formulated and measured beans in order to produce the correct result. Right. So those are the what I know. Those, these are the, th the three factors you control are the grind, 
the amount of water, the temperature of the water. Yes. Um, what I know is, because I use and this every day. And if you're doing an espresso, the pressure that you're applying. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Um, and in fact, that's one of the things that Starbucks is supposed to do is to calibrate the length of time that it takes to extract a right. single shot of espresso. Now, we have a clover, uh, Starbucks with a clover here. Oh, I thought you meant here in the building. No, we don't have a clover <laughs> in the building. But uh, that, that presumably, that is a little bit more of a uh, gourmet brew. Yeah. yeah. But again, one cup at a time. Right. And so, so and it takes a damn long time to make that one cup. Yes, it does. And it, and it produces a mess at the yeah. same time, <laughs> yeah. too. It's, yeah. so, so, so here in my little alchemy corner, the, the goal is to produce a fabulous cup of coffee with some trade-offs. I mean, yes, I'm just using uh, the espresso beans from Starbucks, but they end up tasting fabulous if they're brewed correctly. So so that's good to know. I mean, I don't think that Starbucks beans are particularly well, bad. I'm I hoping think they just to convince you. Them. I'm all hoping right, to right. convince you, you know, with your taste buds. Yeah. If we can, you know. Did you know that Starbucks has added an average of two stores a day since Dan Patterson worked there? <laughs> 1987, Starbucks wow. has added two stores a day. And the highest concentration of uh, Starbucks stores, any guess? Santa Fe Springs, California, 560 Starbucks within 25 miles. Why there? I don't know. So did that turn off by itself? Yes, it does. When it gets to the right time. Oh, press so, the second so, button in. That's the, that guy? that's the, yeah, that's the hold. So now press the, 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 the far Ooh, right button. I like this. Oh, I know. This is what you want. <laughs> this is very accurate here. We're going to get the plug out of the way so that Anthony can see what's going on. Ah. But, but, yeah, now press the – this is the Breville. Breville uh, is an Australian company that makes, I believe, very, very good – so they make my espresso uh, machine. So is it going to tell us when it's at the right press temperature? Press the far right one, and it'll uh, – I think one? it is at the right temperature, but, yeah. So now what you're saying is Ooh. get it to 212 and hold it there. Perfect. So as soon as it beeps at us, we have exactly 212 degrees. Okay, now, so what I know is, because I do this every day, yeah. this, is, this is the proper amount – of water okay because i i fill up a little short of this and i have a little overage which i ooh, listen to that oh yeah it's that's boring. great so, so i have a put little that in the graduated cylinder so we can see exactly how many milliliters <laughs> this may be a mess <laughs> we have bagels with lox capers and cream cheese my favorite breakfast i, I think once we've brewed the coffee we should have it so ladies and gentlemen <laughs> It's a ridiculously large amount that will not fit into the graduated cylinder Barely somewhere did. north of 500 milliliters. I'm just worried this is not Pyrex. Is this safe for, for yes, temperature? Yes, it's, it's, uh, it's a chemical, uh, chemistry lab grade. It was sent to us uh, by nice. Mark Pelletier, who was the host of our Futures in Biotech. Yeah. Uh, there, are, there are genetically modified organisms in that uh, beaker. So there you go. Put it over there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so it's somewhat more. Uh, I would estimate that is maybe 600 milliliters. Here's some scissors. Or 0. 0.6 liters. So that's a significant size uh, mug. Who knew that? Now, we do still have some alien beans, but I think we've done everything mm, we can to get them I out think, of there. Well, you know, well, let's grind they'll, a little they'll, more. They'll let's be grind okay. a little more. And just, well, I was uh, thinking we, we might flush it with some of the flush proper it. beans first. Flush it. That's in order, a great idea. In order to clean You're it out. You're going to need to plug this in as well. Cause we've, ah, we've, yes. We've just, uh, Thank you. All right. This is, uh, all this for a cup of coffee. <clears throat> The next uh, time zone is, uh, I believe, now 25 minutes uh, away uh, on our New Year map. And it will be... Uh... Oh, oh, fabulous. No, Did you just pick these up? Mm. That's another important factor, and I think Dan Patterson will confirm, that the freshness of the bean <laughs> is very important. But more than just the freshness of the roasting, but in fact the freshness of the bean prior to roasting... I have seen many a coffee shop with a with a bag, a burlap sack, sitting outside uh, on this front stoop for days as that bean gets moldy and old. Where do, do we not bring the collector? Well, we had the collector. There oh, we there go. it is. All right, let's just we're, we're gonna get, flush. We're gonna flush the grinder with, now. with the proper bean. <laughs> Stand back. It's a rather loud uh, grinder. And at home, I actually have a foam pad. Oh yes, that very this sits important. on because I need to be able to shake it in order to get all the beans through. <laughs> Dan Patterson and we're on is in our now, chat room. Right? He's changed his uh, handle to Mr. Snark, in case you'd like to chat with I him. I did. <laughs> you did or you didn't? No, no. Oh, it's that's uh, some, no it's an room. imposter. It's an imposter. An imposter. Damn them. However, I Damn think them. you would quickly embrace the, the title. 
All right, Steve is currently <laughs> flushing. Yeah, the next time zone is Tokyo, so if we have anybody listening in Tokyo, uh, we use 24 minutes to New Year's Eve in Tokyo, and we will talk to somebody in Tokyo, and we'll have some fireworks, I bet, there, too. What? All right. What? Tokyo. Oh. We're in Tokyo. Um, okay, so now... We we're want to get, get rid we're, of we're this. We're getting ready. Oh, no, you no, don't need that. That's we don't excess. need that. And, and the flushing was operation was successful. Successful flush. So this we do. This is a quarter cup, <laughs> and we do it exactly level. Just like that. <laughs> Bill Hicks says, this looks like some sort of strange coffee worship going on here. Welcome okay. to the altar of fine caffeine. So what? that was one cup. That was a quarter cup. Quarter cup exact of ah. a Starbucks... Just of plain espresso st standard, roast. Standard, and that's part of why this is practical. Nothing special. You don't have to, like, pre-order right. this and have the donkeys bring it down. It's just, like, right at your corner Starbucks. Juan Valdez has delivered this. Exactly. All right, now, so now we're going to Okay, go, and again, i got to say, this is that special metal cone filter, not what's not Steve approved. I use gonna, brown Melita paper on my Zoratsu or whatever. Zoji Rushi. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, and we're set to three. That's the proper grind. Okay. And the reason I chose this yes. is that is that when this comes out of its vacuum storage, because I also pump the air out of the beans, I transfer or, the bag in, into vacuum. Again, oxygen the enemy. Yeah, exactly. And so, very much like Cabernet. Um, so <laughs> this is all related. Yes. So, um, so then I take exactly the beans I want. The reason I chose this grinder is that they fall straight through from exactly the amount you measured into the filter. No you, middle You never use this reservoir for storage. God, because they just they, get stale. They, exactly. Yeah. All right, so we are now grinding a number three grind of the Starbucks espresso bean into the finely milled cone, K-O-N-E, metal filter basket. Okay. Now, do you want to heat up and the... And uh, that looks exactly right. So that's okay. a drip. So th Steve that's will verify a course, that is... a coarse drip. It's a very coarse it's grind. It's a very coarse grind. And so what that means is it's not going to be bitter because you're not going to extract deep into the, the bean. You're not going to get the bitter oils that you normally do get with an espresso grind, which is a mu almost talcum powdery grind. Can you get that uh, shot uh, there, uh, John, of the bean? So we want everybody to see... This is what they're looking for. Here, I'll use a British uh, pencil to, to stir it <laughs> so they can just get a sense of what that looks like in there. It looks like, uh, frankly, a, uh, the kind of soil I use to pot my plants. All right, so it's, that's, that is very coarse. Number three yes. is very coarse. I mean, big chunks. All right. Now, do you want to heat up the pot with some hot water or anything? Uh. I think we'll, but we want it to be dropped down to drinkable temperature quickly. So, All right. And so I did buy it. that phase change mug that Steve was talking about on Kickstarter. Yeah, uh, we're looking on, forward to getting those. Way. Yeah. All right. If, so, so I'm using 212 this in, degree. I'm using this in order to. Well, that's gonna be gauge. hotter than a. Yeah, it is gonna be hot. Zerg uh, gun after. That's about. So that's the right amount of water for right. this. Again, for, approximately 600 milliliters for one. What was it? One quarter cup of bean. Well, I'm not really able to drip it in there. Um, oh sure you um, are. Go ahead, just just let it. It's you know those those are specially milled holes, <laughs> finer than typical metal. Okay, you're gonna need an empty cup somewhere. Baskets. I have I have a variety of empty cups. Uh, are you making just one cup? No, we make five here. All right. Well, I also have my fine British cup. But you only need one. One one will do. You well, have one over there. We'll split what we get. All right, well, you who else wants some? We'll see how much we get. I think yeah. we should uh, give some to the audience. I, I think. So. Well, and we don't have to do this only mm. once, Leo. The British are it's known be a long day. for their their uh, cuisine, cuisine, and their their excellent uh, taste. In <laughs> did you just flip me off, sir? And <laughs> and their excellent taste in coffee. I commend this live studio audience of four. Yes, four people. Intrepid. Who, intrepid. And Taylor, I included you. You're one of the four who who showed up to to watch this happen live. Listen, listen oh, to the drip. It sounds good. Listen to the dripping of the falling rain. Oh, That's quite good. A lovely sound. It does sound good. This may work, Leo. 
I mean, no, I'm despite, telling you, despite all of our, I'm telling you, are off the, re this the is, reservation. This cone filter is better than you think. And I did sanitize it for your protection earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> it's just too bad that only nine people are watching this. Actually, you know, I think we have almost a thousand people no, in the chat kidding. room. Great. Yeah. Let me let me check here. Twelve hundred and ninety wow. people in the chat room. Wow. Yeah, that's a good that's a good lead. Well, we have a strong following crowd. in Australia. They're and all it's awake. Midnight for them. We will be going to Tokyo in nineteen minutes to celebrate. Everybody in the chat room waving to you, including Simon Zarafa, the most quoted man. Oh, on no kidding. Security now. <laughs> he's in he's in Wales. In Wales? Yeah. Wow. Like Noah. Well, Simon earns his quoting. I mean, he's a he's a He's a good tweeter man. Like no one good I've tweeter. known. He's yeah. a good tweeter. Well, we will ask Steve if this measures up yes. to what he makes at home oh. with his brown paper Melita filter. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing. See, then, and at home, it's a far less manual process. It's yeah, this is grind the much, beans. Yeah, you can you do know, this in seconds, and not thing, minutes. Turn the pot on, and right. I go away for right. about five minutes, right. and then it's it's ready to go. Dan Patterson, where are you going and next? Home, I guess. <laughs> you were on. You were on. Uh, hello, Anthony. <laughs> now, actually, we, we had a little debate. Over there? This is another cup of coffee. Oh, you're going to get confused, Leo. No, no. You need to, like, I need you, a palate cleanser. You need, exactly. I was <laughs> just going to say. That's right. <sighs> no, we, now we, they're saying I should wash the Chinese uh, residue out of this cup, but I, 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 I think a mere rinse would be sufficient. So I'm just going to rinse this. Well, maybe I'll put it. This is a. New, I think you want to put it in a ceramic. fresh cup. Yeah, yeah. We'll put it in ceramic. Well, so I'm going to save this though because I will be using this. Okay, there's the last. Of the, the water birds in. love the Brits. Is there anything else you would? like to tell us about this concoction merely that you make it every day how many cups a day do you consume if i do my sometimes i'll go to starbucks early and get my initial six shots of espresso in the latte yeah. in which case that normally wires me enough that i'm just not feeling like any more coffee for well, at least a few hours and that you will do one of those before each security now uh, no, on security now days, I don't leave the house. I get up and I start working <laughs> to, put me, the, to, me put, too. to put the podcast together. I think it's a little weak. You feel it's weak? I think it's a little weak, but you'll, you'll get a sense for just how smooth it is. Uh, you know, I have to say the aroma is fine. Uh, very, uh, I would say it's um, a kind of a back stair mixed with uh, cedar shavings. Let me, um, let me... Please drink. Let it. me just let me just take it. It's oxidizing as we speak, so I better. <laughs> oh my God! It is smooth. Wow, there's it's very smooth. Now normally I douse my coffee with cream and sugar. I've this had is... people say this is coffee when I've when I've had them try. That's quite that's quite good. Now you're saying it's a little weak. It's a little weak. I I would normally yeah because we we were you know seat of the pants here. <sighs> no, that's actually very good. <laughs> I confess, uh, yeah, I I, you know, with this, I mean, you know, no, that's with, very good. With with very simple raw materials, <sighs> it's just I drink that. Really, I would drink that really every morning. Drinkable. You know, it's nice. It's very fresh, which I like. I yes, mean, you know, there's yes. no well, and again, you can find the bean anywhere, <sighs> and when when you put it together, you've got enough coffee to last for a while. So let let me give you a parts list, folks, because uh, one of the things that we don't have is something Steve told us about on Security Now. And this was this a Kickstarter, the Zoji Rushi? No, no, no. Uh, I found it on Amazon. And w what I like about it is it's the right size. It's five cups, so it's not ten. And it uses the, the Melita filter, so it, it, um, it drips right through the filter into the pot. And then I transfer it to this guy. Is this it? Is there's, the, there's Zuto? That's the one. The Zuto coffee maker. Can you show yep. my screen, uh... uh John or I'm whoever's on TV. You have that cup of coffee. Oh, please, <laughs> Sh share with me. Share with me. Ah. So um, uh, it's a removable water tank and water filter lasts up to two years in a normal Ooh. use. Brews up to five cups of coffee, 
And how much was this on uh, on Amazon? So you recommend this. You do use Melita paper filters with it. The brown paper. The brown. You, you don't want you the don't want bleached. the bleached. No, of course not. Um, and uh, and you will brew a full pot. I do. Yes, because actually a little more than five. It because you can fill it past the five mark in the little tank in the back. Um, <laughs> This has 0.675 liter capacity, so we I was estimating about 600 uh, milliliters. So right. that's about right. Right. And where uh, are we here? This is yeah five. It, yeah, yeah so it's about, about 600 about, milliliters. About exactly yeah. right. Yeah. And uh, all right. And so and the grinder uh, that we're using is a KitchenAid. And you like this? Well, again, because it's a it's a fall through. It falls. You you, you grind the beans. Ooh, that came up fast. Nice. Oh yeah, the, the you, you, uh, I'll, you, I'll give you. A, you grind exactly what you're going to consume, so that because the other problem again is oxidation. If this sits here, I mean, the, the, you know, the, the, these are already disqualified. Right. This is the KitchenAid Proline grinder. This is not an inexpensive grinder. It's over a hundred dollars, I think. Yes, and, and it's a Berg grind, and that's the other thing. You need a Berg grind. You need two wheels that are grinding in opposition, so so you get a a uniform grain size. Right out of the other end, not one of these things that just fractures the beans with a with blade spinning around in the air. This actually is not it. Let me see if I can find, uh, or maybe it's just a different color. Yeah, it is. It's just a different color. KitchenAid Pro-Line. Yeah, yeah the Pro-Line. Yeah, but you want black. Mill. I mean, yeah. look at us. Yeah. Black. $200. Not an inexpensive grinder, but no. uh, frankly, uh, as, well, coffee, it'll last you as the coffee geek told me, um, Mark, I can't remember his last name, it has the coffeegeek.com site. He would rather would have paper cups? a cheap coffee maker or, and an expensive grinder than like vice versa. The grinder is very important, he says. Now, we used something that Steve doesn't recommend, but I, I think, I don't know, I think it produces a pretty good cup of coffee. And this is the cone filter. And the nice thing about this is it, it is reusable. Yes. <clears throat> oh, we're about ready to go to Japan in just a, uh, just a few minutes. We're going to go. Uh, this is from Abel Brewing, which is uh, up north. Uh, in a, in Seattle, yeah, and this uh, cone filter is sixty dollars. This was a Kickstarter. It's a stainless steel reusable filter, um, and I think I think it's pretty good, uh, and has one of the advantages of not, uh, uh, you know, being reusable, of not uh, you know having to buy new filters all the time. So uh, that's that's what we're using right now, and I actually am using a ceramic pot also from Abel Brewing, um, but that obviously doesn't. Matter.